very Merry Christmas for retailers. Americans spending $850 billion this holiday season, and that's up more than 5% from last year. And it's also the strongest number in six years, according to new report cards from MasterCard. Jonathan and Melissa are back, and I think this kind of you know, solidifies what we've said before, that Main Street and consumers, they feel confident with a 50-year low in unemployment. Jonathan? Yeah, I mean, no question. Look, we talk about the economy being strong. Just look at the difference this Christmas is against Christmas 2010 through 2011. Back then, consumers had closed their wallets. They were saving. They weren't spending. You know, what a difference a, a decade makes since the global financial crisis. Unemployment is low. Retailers, interestingly, though, however, Susan, the stocks are not doing well. And this is one reason why, despite the fact that the news is good in terms of consumer spending, you know, Amazon up. 8% today, but Nine a lot of these retailers yeah. still scraping scraping their 52-week lows. So it's another area, I think, despite the fact the news is being good, this could be that dead cat bounce we keep talking about yeah, but when it comes to this market and retailers. Yeah, but we've seen the retail sub-index of the S&P rally double digits this year up until this month at least. So I wouldn't say it has been a weak year for retail in 2018. Well, it's, it's down. Uh, most retailers are flat this year. And as you said, this last month, everything, including retailers, had just gotten completely sold off. So, I mean, if you were a bull, I would have liked to see that hang in there. So I'm not a complete bear on retail, Susan, but I'd like to see the stocks doing even better uh, to match the good news that we're getting in terms of American shopping this Christmas season. Yeah, well, Melissa, what about the Amazon story? Today they came out with stellar numbers saying that they sold millions more items this year than they did last year, signed up tens of millions of new products. Prime subscribers, which City says will get to 275 million in a decade's time. Amazon is always the one to beat. Everyone's out there trying to beat Amazon, and that's the problem. Amazon did have a big rally today, but that's taken a tumble off the highs, too, like a lot of other stocks recently. But I will say, retail did have a good year to me, for the most part, some of these stocks that wouldn't normally rally to yeah. the end of the year till Black Friday, the beginning of the year, that some of them hit new highs, which was unusual. It was unusual to happen so early in the year. Target is still in an uptrend. Walmart is still in an uptrend. Lowe's is still in an uptrend too. J.C. Penney, uh, I don't know what to do with that stock anymore. It's just a mess. It's, I feel bad for that. It's sad, actually. It's really, really sad. But I mean, as far as the other ones go, Macy still is in a downtrend, too. But some of these stocks, when you look at earlier in the year, they, they don't look great now compared to the last month, but the whole market has fallen in the last month. So a lot of these trade off with the market. Yeah, well, you know, retail was left for dead last year. So the fact that they exactly. have gains this year has been really impressive. But just back to Amazon, you know, I covered Amazon's report card in their earnings last quarter. I think they really set the the negativity in motion for those report cards because they set the bar really low for this holiday shopping season, which really, really concerned the market. So I think they set expectations low, but they come out with these really strong numbers. So, you know, next quarter will look pretty good for Amazon. Well, it's interesting because when you look at this quarter, for earnings in total, I'm talking about everything. Yeah. And then you look at the market and you say, hmm, interesting. It's not surprising that we've been selling off. Now, what does that mean for the beginning of 2019? Well, we have a lot of upside potential. So if we get some good earnings and good reaction, so some of these stocks had good earnings, but bad negative reaction on the stock price. What we need is good earnings or bad earnings, but good reaction in the stock price. And because everyone had negative reactions for the most part, and I'm generalizing here, I'm talking about in general, even though some of them had strong earnings fundamentally, Technically speaking, the stocks sold off, which didn't make any sense. We want to see both of those things equate together in the first quarter of 2019, where your fundamentals are good and the yeah. technicals are good, and then the stocks get bought. We had some good earnings fundamentally, but then the stocks sold off on the earnings. They didn't get bought. Yeah, that's what we call convergence. Guys, thank you so much, Jonathan and Melissa. Good to see you.